hi guys welcome back so in this video i am going to discuss about parameter estimation in parameter estimation i am going to discuss about what are parameters what is parameter estimation and then at the last i am going to discuss about the techniques that are used for parameter estimation so now let's see what are parameters before going through the points of the parameters uh, let's understand what are parameters with an example see let's assume that you wanted to prepare your favorite dish but you don't know how much amount of salt you wanted to add so what you will do for the first time you will add some amount of salt and then you will taste it if it is not sufficient then you will add again or some amount of salt so this process will be repeating until that particular recipe will taste good so how we are using salt for your recipe the same thing the model will also uses something called as parameters why we will use uh, salt in your recipe so that it could taste better then why you are using parameters they are used because the model can generate you the accurate results so now let's see the points so the first point in nlp models parameters are values that the model uses to make decisions see param for the parameters you will assign some values so in the example you took soil right so you will assign some value like one half spoon or something so the same thing goes with the model parameters also for the model parameters you have to assign some values in order to get the accurate results so in with real time example we have understood what are parameters but how these parameters are actually used in language models so i have many times in my previous videos i have said about guessing the next word right how we are guessing the next word by using probabilities by calculating the probabilities this probability is nothing but a parameter okay now let's see what are what is parameter estimation do really you know what is parameter then what is parameter estimation it is nothing but you are giving the best values to the parameters see the points parameter estimation is the process of determining the best values for the parameters of a model so it can accurately perform tasks so parameter estimation is nothing but for those parameters you are finding the best values why you are finding the best values so that the model can give you accurate results so what kind of task it will perform the first task it, it in understanding the text in generating the text in translating the text what is the importance of parameter estimation the first importance is it will generate you the accurate results see it the first thing if you set the parameter values to the best values then it will give you the accurate results and it will also give you the effectiveness in the model and if you set the parameter values to the good values then what the model will do is it will understand and generate human like text accurately so how it actually works the first point is first you have to gather a large amount of data that data can be from the books or it can be from articles or it can be from the web pages so you have to feed it to the model so that the the model will learn the patterns hidden in it after training i mean during the training so the model what the model will do is it will adjust the parameters in order to find the different patterns hidden in the text during the adjustment of this parameters what it will do is it will use two different techniques in order to adjust its parameters so the first technique is maximum likelihood estimation or you can 
in short you can call it as MLE and the other technique is Bayesian methods so using these two methods the model will adjust the parameters after that you have to test the data set how you will test the data set other than the data which you have used for training the model other than that data you have to use the new data in order to test the model okay so this is the working of parameter estimation now let's see what the techniques we have what are the techniques so there are two techniques for that maximum likelihood estimation and the other is Bayesian estimation now let's see what is maximum likelihood estimation see before discussing the points in maximum likelihood estimation let's understand an example that is weather prediction in basic how you are going to predict weather let's assume that you have you are living in in a specific area about for about 10 years so you know that at this particular month of the year it will rain for sure so now you will predict that in the next year also it will rain at this specific month so what you are actually doing you are actually considering the previous data in order to predict the weather so let, let's see some points about it MLE is about finding the parameter values that make the observed data most likely so you actually decide the parameter values based on the observed data observed data is nothing but the previous data if that in that previous data if there is something that is happening many number of times then you will consider it in maximum likelihood estimation so in the context of nlp how you actually do is uh, let's take that you have to guess the next word in the given sentence so you will use one parameter that is probability you will calculate the probability so how you will calculate the probability that is nothing but you will consider the word which is occurring the most number of times in that particular sequence so then only you decide that this word will come in that given sequence so this is how the maximum likelihood estimation is used in nlp how it works so the first point is you have to gather the large amount of data after gathering the data you have to count how many times a word is occurring in a sequence after counting that you have to calculate the probability of that particular word in that sequence so how you will calculate the probability for that particular word in a sequence is by using the formula so what is that formula so here is the formula you are calculating the probability of the next word by the previous word so that is calculated by using this formula that is you have to count how many number of times that this particular word is occurring with this previous word by how many times this previous word is occurring so this is the formula and next we will see about Bayesian estimation okay before discussing this point let's take the same example that we took in mle that is weather prediction and that we have predicted the weather based on the previous data but in case of bayesian estimation we are going to predict the weather based on the previous data plus the new data see we already know about what, uh, what is this previous data is then what is this new data this new data is nothing but the weather is now 
I mean whether it is cloudy or whether it is sunny and all the things you will consider. So by considering this with the previous data, you are going to estimate the parameters. So this is what written in the points. So let's not discuss this and let's see how it works. So the first one you have to calculate the probability of the previous data. And then you have to gather the text data. What is the text data? That is nothing but new data. You have to calculate you have to gather the new data. After calculating the new data, you have to update the probabilities. Like you in in uh, previous data you have calculated some probability, but you also need to add the new data's probability. So you have to update the probability. How we are going to update the probability by using some formula. That formula is Bayes theorem. So this is the formula. This formula is used to estimate the parameters in Bayesian estimation. So this is about parameter estimation. So in the next video, I am going to discuss about language model adaptation. Until then, thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe.